okay dear students let us uh, read this question a particle is displaced from rest and released at time t is equal to zero it performs a simple harmonic motion which graph shows the variation with time of the kinetic energy of the particle so it means that we need to comment on the kinetic energy of the particle so we have to first create the expression there well this question is they have um, taken this question in 4.1 but i believe it should come in 9.1 also so because the formulas that i'm going to give you they are given in the data booklet but they are all given in 9.1 rather than the 4.1 kind of hl level okay so you see uh, whenever we're talking about the simple harmonic motion, there are two ways in which the displacement can be taken. So x is equal to x naught sine omega t and x is equal to x naught cos omega t. So to answer this question, first of all, we must understand what displacement function are we going to use because according to that, the function of kinetic energy will also change. So uh, this sine function is used if, if the initial position from which the SHM has started, like at t is equal to zero. If the motion starts from the mean position, you use sine. If the motion starts from the extreme position, you use cos. So in IB and all stuff, like all the books I have seen, that they are using extreme positions at the initial position, so you they would be using cos. But in my country, we use sine. It's just a standard, doesn't matter. But anyways, we are using cos, why? Because it is explicitly given in the question itself, the particle is displaced from rest. Obviously, it was rest at the mean position. It is displaced to the extreme position and then it is released. So, at t is equal to zero. So, we are only using this. Now, we want to go to kinetic energy. So, for that, we have to first create velocity function. How can you create that? By differentiating it. So, differentiation, you're going to learn in the calculus. And I know that you people have not yet learned it. But anyways, you would be learning it, okay? But do not worry because in 9.1 in the data booklet, the formulas are already given. So no, no worries there. So when you differentiate it, it becomes negative of x naught omega sine omega t. So this is the function for the corresponding velocity. And <clears throat> we know that kinetic energy is directly proportional to v square. So kinetic energy will be directly proportional to sine square omega t. So we have to first create the graph of negative sine omega t, this one, and then we would be squaring it and then we will see which is the correct answer. For creating graphs and for explaining properly, I am now employing desmos.com. Okay, so let us now move to the next sheet. Okay, there are these graphs that I have already drawn Yes, I have already drawn these graphs now. So you see, y is equal to cos x is uh, basically the displacement. So this is displacement shown in black. We differentiated it and we found the velocity vector. Now velocity vector is directly proportional to minus sine x. Definitely the magnitudes are not right, but the emotions are right. <laughs> so this is the velocity. And the velocity graph is like this. So here, only at this position, you see the oscillation is complete. So this can be taken as 2 pi. So this is the displacement. The oscillation is complete. Velocity vector is negative sign. But now, how is the sign square there? So this is about EK, the violet. So you see, 0 is the velocity. So when you square it, it still remains 0. But this becomes like minus 1. So when you square it, it becomes positive And it becomes the maximum of the sine at that time, isn't it? Because it's square now. So it becomes this. This is again, uh, sorry, here the velocity is 0, so it becomes 0. Here the velocity is 1, so it is again maximum. Here the velocity is 0, so again the velocity becomes 0. You need to concentrate only on this, so I'm removing displacement now. Got it? So it means that in one oscillation, the kinetic energy is having two oscillations. One this, another this. So two oscillations. So for the kinetic energy, the frequency is double. Now, if this graph is clear to you, very soon moving to the question back again. So what, which is the correct graph according to you here? Obviously, it comes out to be D. Isn't it like the motion starts from zero, goes to maximum, again zero, goes to maximum, again zero. 
So this is 